So there's been a lot of talk recently about wireless charging, but what exactly is it? Is it worth getting? And what do you need to know before buying a wireless charger? Stick around to find out. Welcome to Tech Runner, your home for tech reviews and VR content. So is wireless charging any good? For the most part, yes. Is it worth getting a wireless charger right now? Maybe it depends. First, let's actually outline what we mean by wireless charging. The concept of wireless charging is pretty simple. Rather than plugging a cable into a port on your phone, tablet or whatever, you place the device on a charging pad and through the process of electromagnetic induction, it charges the device. A primary coil of wire in the charging pad induces a current in the secondary coil of wire in the device being charged. This in turn charges the battery. Technically, it isn't really wireless as there are still plenty of wires involved, but it's just easier calling it wireless charging. For a detailed explanation of the science and history of electromagnetic induction, check out the video by Tinkernut, linked in the card on screen or in the description below. So that's a quick outline of how it works. But what are the pros and cons of using wireless chargers? Well, placing your device down on a pad to charge and not having to plug in a cable is easier and more convenient. Not having to plug and unplug cables into your device means you won't wear down and have to replace the cables as often. Larger pads with multiple coils allow you to easily charge several devices without having a big mess of cables. Wireless chargers can be built into desk stands and car chargers making putting them down quick and easy. They can also be built into furniture, an idea which IKEA has really latched onto. You don't have to worry about cleaning crud out of your charging port. However, at least for the time being, your device has to be in close contact with the charging pad, making it hard to actually use a device while charging, something that is much easier with a cable. Not all devices currently support wireless charging, although this will likely improve over time. There isn't a single wireless charging standard. The two largest currently are Qi wireless charging and AirFuel. Qi will likely be the de facto standard in the future as more devices currently support it, and most devices that do support air fuel also support Qi, but time will tell. Both the charger and the charging device can get warmer than wired charging. Finally, until devices come with wireless chargers, the extra investment in cost to switch to wireless charging may not be a price that everyone wants to pay. Alright, say you are sold on wireless charging and you want to purchase a charger. What should you be looking for and what things should you avoid? First, make sure you are buying a product from a reputable brand so that it will deliver good, consistent power. If this is for your smartphone or tablet that you spent a few hundred dollars on, you don't want to risk damaging it with a cheap charger. Check to see what wireless charging standard your current device supports. It will probably be either Qi charging or air fuel. Next, look at how many watts your device can charge at. Most chargers you will see are either 5 watts or 7.5 watts. Most current devices that support fast charging will charge up to 7.5 watts but the latest Qi 1.2 standard goes up to 15 watts for compatible devices. So I'd recommend getting a charger that outputs at least 7.5 watts or 15 watts if you want to be more future-proof. Does the charging pad include a wall adapter? If not, you'll want to get one of the same wattage that has support for fast charging and outputs at 2 amps. Some chargers that I would recommend are The Belkin Boost Up Wireless Charging Pad is Qi compatible, charges at 7.5 watts, includes an AC adapter in the box and has a thermal sensor to prevent overheating. It is currently available for pre-order to be released on December 1st. The Samsung Qi Certified Fast Charge Wireless Charging Stand is fast charge compatible, also includes a fast charge wall charger and can be used on a desk as a stand. The Bezalel Futura X is a Qi compatible flat charging pad that also includes an optional stand for your desk. It is very compact, comes in black and white color options, outputs at 5 watts, but does not include a wall adapter. The Anker PowerPort Qi 10 wireless charging pad is a quick charge 3.0 compatible charger that can charge up to 10 watts. It has temperature control and a status LED. It also does not include a wall adapter. Speaking of which, the Anker Quick Charge 3.0 compatible dual USB wall charger outputs 39 watts at 2 amps, supports power IQ, and it's a slimline adapter though the plug does not fold in. The second USB port is great if you own a tablet. You can find links to all these in the description below. Overall, I think wireless charging is a great technology and it should only get better from here as more and more manufacturers support it and put it in their flagship devices. That said, if you're happy with wired charging and you don't want to spend the money to invest in wireless charging, you could definitely wait until the technology is more widespread. 
Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or any recommendations or wireless chargers, feel free to post them in the comments below. If you'd like to see more tech reviews and VR content, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at TechRunnerVids.